All right, hey folks, this video is sponsored by Sportsman's Guide. We have teamed up with them in like a major way. If you check out Sportsman's Guide's website, just go there and search Warrior Poet. Our store within a store pops up. So a bunch of curated items, we're adding to it all the time, all the goodies we like. So it's kind of got our stamp of approval and we got other stuff on there like our own apparel and our beloved, our coveted, our amazing, epic War Poet gun. Took us a year to put together, but now these babies are going out like hotcakes and they're pretty awesome. Anyway, Sportsman's Guide, thanks so much for sponsoring this video. And now it is time to roll said video. There we go. All right, hey folks, welcome back. We're at Governor's Gun Club in Kennesaw, Georgia. I've got a special guest. Guys, meet Catherine. Hello. Now, Catherine works here at Governor's, but it's not in the gun section, right? No, this is definitely not my department. Um, I work at the private members only lounge upstairs, got bartending. It. Very good. <laughs> uh, and so Catherine's having some difficulty. She doesn't shoot a lot. Hey, you shoot a little more. What, what's up? You, yeah, it's so, not my to-do list. It's right, not so my to-do list. We've all <laughs> properly shamed her, but she's ready. She's getting back off, guys. Anyway, Catherine's struggling with some eye dominance issues. So what we want to do in this video is allow you to be able to diagnose whether you or someone else that you're bringing shooting has an eye dominance issue, and then some down and dirty ways to be able to solve those problems. So we'll be able to go over that. First and foremost, I wanted to let you know that we've already covered our butts with the safety stuff. We went over the universal firearm safety rules. She practiced picking the gun up properly. We shot it on another range time that we were out here before. So we've done all the background stuff already to make sure that we're gonna have a positive, safe experience. Now, before we even get going, some people think that they're struggling with an eye dominance issue when really the problem is, is they just don't really know how to interact with their sights. So what I'll typically do is I'll say, hey, all right, do a little bit of counseling on the sights. You'll have your front sight here, your rear sight here, and the goal here is to be able to look through your rear sights, not over the top of them. People do that all the time. They look over the top or the rear sights to see the front. So you'll wanna show them like this and to be able to show that clean sight alignment. After you've done that and you've scratched that off the list, now you can move on to keep problem solving if that doesn't fix it. Sometimes, in some, yeah, oftentimes with a newer shooter, it's fuzzy, which is a clue of eye dominance uh, issues, when really it's not an eye dominance issue at all. It's they just don't know how to interact with the site. So beware that you're not chasing a rabbit needlessly. It's an eye dominance issue. Catherine, when you present the gun out, you're focusing on the front sight. So right now, let's go ahead and try to do that. Let's okay. pick up this, this gun, present downrange. We've got some circles on the target there, present downrange. Voila, good, it is in fact empty. I'm gonna let the slide go forward. Very good, let's get this up a little bit higher so I don't go crazy. And I want you to get a good sight picture. Okay. Very good. All right, right now she is closing her left eye, which I don't really <laughs> like, but I'm gonna let her do it right now for just a moment. Do you see the front sight clearly? Yep. yep. All right, are you seeing double or anything? No. Now open up both eyes. How are you seeing? Oh yeah. I guess double if I try and focus, um, but I, I just can't. With both, I can't focus on where that. And that's what we're gonna help. It is a real big clue and indication she is struggling with eye dominance. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of extra digit, uh, due diligence here. Go ahead and present. I'm gonna put my finger on the rear sight and ask, can you still see the front sight through there? Yes. That makes sure that they're looking through the tunnel and not over the sight, so she is aiming properly. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and place the gun down. Voila, brilliant, good. So we've fixed to make sure that the sights aren't blurry because she's not aiming properly. She is aiming properly, but there's a physiological thing. Sometimes just through repetition, people can overcome that physiological difficulty, but that's exactly where we start. Now, there's a few different options to be able to work through this. One is she could switch hands. This is terrible advice because in no way it changes what's happening with your eyes. So when an instructor says, all right, I'm left eye dominant, switch hands, that's not helping. Don't do that one. The second thing you could do is close your eye. So let's go ahead and pick that up again. Try to get a good sight picture with two eyes open. You can't- Two eyes two open. Two eyes open. Uh, okay, I'm trying. All right, close one eye. Very good. This will be a little bit weird. Very good. Now open your eye and oh, what do you God. see? 
terrifying knife. Terrifying, that's awful. <laughs> and I do that, let's go ahead and put the gun down. I hold my knife there as a metaphor of all the scary, <laughs> spooky things can be over here. You're like, I am leaving, this guy's a psycho. Maybe. <laughs> uh, what it is, is I'm, I'm giving her a scary representation of all the things over here in her peripheral vision that are lost that you can't uh, see. So it's not that a knife materializes out of nowhere, it's that in the moment you need vision more than ever in your life, you're in a gunfight, you lose half of your vision. That's a lot. Like right here, I can't see fingers over here until they get right by it. I'm losing a massive amount of vision and I have excellent peripheral vision. So like, watch this. This is two, three, four, one directly behind me. Wait, can you see mine? Look over here. Can no, you see mine? I, st I did it. I did it. So very impressive. It's like my superpower. It's no big deal. But uh, uh, closing an eye is not the best solution, especially in a fight. Sometimes I'll let a newer shooter just close an eye when they're getting into it because they've got enough silliness going on, trying to figure out grip and they're scared of the gun and trying to work the trigger and they're going Hulk smash and throwing rounds down and left. And so all that stuff's going through. Sometimes I cut them a break and let them close that eye. That's not a good long-term solution. It's a temporary Band-Aid so that they can get used to shooting with all the other stuff going on. So where you're closing an eye, that's not ideal. So let's right. go ahead and pick gun up again and see if we can do something different. This is solution three. Solution one is switch hands. That's a dumb one. Solution two is to close an eye and that's not a good one for fighting either though to work in a pinch getting started. Option three is this one. Go ahead and present gun. Very good. And what we're going to do, open both eyes. And okay. now you should be seeing double. Yeah. What I want you to do is take your chin towards your left shoulder. Do that now. Very good. And I want you to still see through the alignment. So move your head. Can you can you still see? Eye. Yep, don't close an <laughs> okay. eye. All right, can you go a little bit more? Turn. Yeah, very good. And look down. Uh, how is uh, everything looking now? That's actually okay. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. Voila. And usually that's all you have to do. Uh, another way that you could do it. I want to close this eye, but. And so it'll take a little bit of practice. If that doesn't work, what I can do is have her turn her head the other way. So go ahead and go chin to other shoulder. Very enough? good. And now look down at how's that? Find it. Okay. Which yeah. one's better? The right eye. The right eye is yeah. better. All right. Now go ahead and put down gun. Fantastic. We'll shoot in just a moment, but I want to counsel because right now some of you guys are thinking, well, I know how to test eye dominance and you do this thing where you put up a, a little triangle. I'll show you. It's pretty cool. So go ahead and make this little triangle right here. I'm going to back up and go okay. ahead and put me in that triangle. So right there. Very good. Cool. And so she's looking at me through this little triangle she's making. Now I want you to pull the triangle to your face and don't lose sight of me. Go ahead. Very good. All right, and hold what you got. Let's go ahead and turn toward the camera and you'll see, <laughs> aha, voila, she's right eye dominant. And that's a cool, tricky way. However, what I've found is some people are right eye dominant at distance, but left eye dominant close up. And so what's happening with an eye dominant struggle is your left eye is trying to say, hey, I want to see it. I can see it better. And so there's this power struggle. When we move our heads, it takes that eye out of the fight. So only the right eye is in contention. The left eye says, ah, I give up. I'll scan for threats over here. And it can be a really good thing. That's what's happening physiologically because you may be left eye dominant up close, right eye dominant far away. And so that you see a threat with your right eye, but then left eye wants to take over here. So taking one out of uh, the fight, is the way to be able to master it. You can become pretty darn quick. It's part of your normal presentation. So I see a threat, which is you. It's the trolls here. Threat. <laughs> One more <on>. Trolls. <laughs> you know who you are. Anyway, threat. And I see that. And during my presentation, I will turn my head so that my left eye, if I'm left eye dominant close up, can take over the sights. Whereas normally I'm right here, here, scanning, scanning, threat and I move, and it's just that. There's some amazing shooters, amazing shooters out there that are left eye dominant and right-handed. This is how you diagnose eye issues, eye dominance issues, and the solution to fix it. It's really just a quick turn of the head and they're good to go. Um, it would be terrible to play with guns and not have you shoot a little bit. Yeah. So let's see if we can even pull it off. <laughs> Sound good? Okay. I'm 
guarding the trigger so she cannot fire it. Thumb up toward the sky. Brilliant, just like that. Let's get your other support hand grip, like so. Finger under the trigger guard. Great, present out, fix your feet. Where's your weight? My toes. Open that left eye. Very good. It's all double, yep. And keep taking chin to shoulder until you got a clear alignment. Okay. You see what you got? Very good. I'm gonna move over here real quick. Good, and we're gonna test your side alignment by having me pull the trigger first. Okay. Tell me when it's just perfect on target. Now. Alright, uh, uh, recheck it. Tell me when it's perfect. Very good. It's gotta surprise you or you'll be wrong. Alright, one more time. Tell me when it's perfect. Move your head. Tell me. Alright, and we're in the black. Good, and I know you hate that, but it's a way that I can take all the bad things you possibly do. I'll pull the trigger. And that's how I test whether the side alignment's really good because I'm not going to anticipate or jerk. All right, okay. very good. Let's go. All right. I'm trying to keep my eye open. Do it. And there's a hit. Good. 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 About that one. Finger off the trigger real quick. A little too much finger on that trigger as well. Let's tighten everything up just like so. Tighten this left hand up a little bit more and let's get weight forward just a touch more. Very good. All right, here we go. All right. Ready? Yep. And ease the trigger back smooth. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Very good. See how that left hand flew off? Yep. What you can do is come over here, latch on just a little bit right here. Oh, finger off that trigger. Very good. Cool. All right. You need to tighten everything up. Awesome. All right, let's go. Good. Let's keep going. Dead center oh, hit. Yeah. yeah. Don't get cocky. I mean, just shoot them. Watch it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Hold on, I gotta make sure I don't close my eye. Turn the head. I'm doing the Jedi turn. That's Finger good. off the trigger. Yeah. And let's put the gun down. Awesome. We're at, I don't know how many yards. This is about seven. Let's go ahead and go down range. Very good. What's happening here is she's shooting about the level that she should, but we had good side alignment before, and we know that because I was taking all the uh, jerking of the shots out of there. So that was pretty darn good. How do you feel? Good. I felt good about that last one. Yeah, you crushed it. Anyway, guys, get out, train, help other people along as well. It's good as we grow the whole gun community. We'll be safer and better together. I always say train hard, train smart. That's my sign off. You okay. want to do it? Okay. Train hard, train smart. Yeah, but you got to do it with hard, like passion. I, but I want it like a war, like a war. Train hard. <laughs> Dude, come on. This is serious. This is the sign off. Do it. Okay. All right, come on. Are we saying it together? Just no, me. just you. Just I want me? you to be live, but I want you to be like going at oh, it. Oh, God. Do it. No, Here we go, no. guys. Ready and. <laughs> Train hard, train smart. <laughs> Crushed it. See you guys later. Folks, you know the video was amazing. Even if it wasn't amazing, just like, subscribe, comment, and share anyway, because I really want you to. <laughs> Follow us on social media. Train hard, train smart. We'll see you next time.